perhaps the most famous and popular temple in Brindavan is the temple of Banki Bihari and uh, that everyone calls him Banki Bihari but actually his name is the Nikunj Bihari and he was discovered by Swami Haridas here. As we are in the Brahma Madhva Gaudiya Sampradaya, so Swami Haridasa is in the Nimbarka Sampradaya coming from Chatusa and four Kumaras. Uh, uh, Swami Haridas is, is Nimbarka Sampradaya, which uh, is in the four Kumaras, so like in the Brahma Madhva Gaudiya Sampradaya. Swami Haridas ki jai, So this is the Rang Mahal. Mahal is very famous because every night the devotees they leave the singdoor, kumkum, jewelry, bangles, necklaces, chandan, all types of paraphernalia that Radha and Krishna will use in the night and then they close the temple. In the morning when they open the temple then the jewelry is broken, the bangles are scattered here and there and all the chandan and kumkum has been used and then they take it as Mahaprasad. So Radha Krishna's Nitya uh, Nisha Lila, nighttime pastimes are going on here. So even you can get packets of used kum kum. By the causes mercy of Sri Guru and Gauranga. Now we have come to the supremely pure transcendental holy place. Nidduvan! Nidduvan is the place of Radha and Krishna's nighttime pastimes. And because of that is also the place of Radha Krishna Nishanta Lila when they after they at the end of night they rest and they wake up here. So that is called Nishanta. The end of night pastimes are also famous here. Ban means forest. And Nidhu. One meaning of Nidhu is shaking. Trembling. And Nidhu also means amorous pastimes. And Nidhu. Ni means Nishesh. Completely. Dhu. Washed away. The place where in the amorous pastimes, the kumkum of Radhika, the chandan of Krishna, the uh, kajal on their eyes, and all cosmetics and all sringa, everything is washed away in the pastimes here. So it's called Nidhuvan. So if anyone will have darshan of the face of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, it will awaken intense greed in their heart for Radha Krishna Seva. Because when Mahaprabhu is the calling the name of Krishna, He's calling her name with a gut gut, his voice is trembling and his words are faltering, the broken, broken words. Because when Mahaprabhu calls the name of Krishna, he's in the mood of Radhika meeting with Krishna in Nidhuvan. So Radha Mohan Goswami has described this. 
Madhu Madhura Smita Lobit Tanu Britam Madhu Madhura Smita Lobit Tanu Anupam Bhava Vila The desire to please one's own senses is called calm lust. But the desire to please the senses of Krishna is called prem. So here, Simati Radhika in all ways is pleasing the senses of Sri Krishna. Premananda Jadi Krishna Sevananda Bari Sayanandera Prati Bhakta Hoy Mahakrodi. Srila Krishna Skaraj Goswami Pad said that if the ecstasy of Prem, of love, becomes an obstacle to the service of Krishna, then the devotee becomes angry and criticizes his own ecstatic feelings. So it gives the example that Angastam Baranga Mutunga Yantam Premanandam Daruko Nabyanandat that Daruka he was finding Krishna but he felt such sattvic bhavs he became stunned and began to faint. Then after some time, he realized that he'd become unconscious and then he criticized that ecstatic feeling because it obstructed his seva. So in Prema Moi Seva, there's no touch, no fragrance even, not the slightest fragrance of desire for one's own happiness, only to please Krishna. It is for this reason that Srila Rupa Goswami Pad has written. Vidagda nam mitoli la vilasena yatasukam na tatasam prayoge na sadevam rasika viduhu. The learned persons who are expert in rasa, they have concluded that the uh, happiness that Radha Krishna experienced in their uh, vilas, their playing together, is the such happiness they don't experience by the direct union. Uh, so, where lust is concerned, then the, always the uh, eagerness is there for the consummation of the relationship. And persons also think like this about Radha and Krishna Rupa Goswami said, no, 
это же самое отношение люди проецируют на радкую речь. Но вы пока сами говорите. Вы тогда нам митоли ла вела сейна, я та сукам на та сам прайога на. The happiness which is in their uh, pastimes of playing together is that type of happiness is not so found in their direct union. So Jaydev Goswami was Paramarasi Kaze described this in Gita Govinda. He said, Pratyuha Pulakankarin and Ibidashle Shain Imeshe in the cha Krida Kuta Vilokate Rasudapane Katake Libi Anandadi Gamena Manmata Kalayu Depi Yasminabud Udbuta Satayo Babhuva N Suratam Ba Priyam Babukaha When He's saying, when Radha and Krishna embrace in the Nikunjas of Vrindavan. What is Nikunja? Nikunja means there are four trees. And their branches reach out and mix together and make a room. And there are creepers of uh, vines of flowers hanging down on the outside making the walls. So that is a Nikunj. And if it's in a very isolated place, then it's a Nibrita Nikunj. So you can see uh, these are the Nibrita Nikunjas of Vrindavan. So when Radha Krishna meet in that very secret place, even though they're ecstatic sattvic bhavs, get in the way of their amorous pastimes, but they don't criticize it. When Radha Krishna are about to embrace, then suddenly their hair stand on end and they become stunned. When they are carefully watching each move that their lover and beloved is doing, so they can understand oh, what type of pastime to do next, then their eyes blink and stop them from seeing properly the Leela. And when they are about to kiss, then the Anubhav comes in their heart, some feeling and comes out the mouth and they begin to speak, the Keli Kata. <laughs> so then the Kata comes in the way of the kiss. And sometimes they become so stunned, they become like Murcha, about to faint, and they cannot move. So Jaydev Goswami gives a conclusion, Surataram be priyam bhavokaha. Because Radha and Krishna so bhavok, even though their sattvic ecstasies are actually making obstacle to their loving pastimes, they like it very much. <laughs> because the delay uh, intensifies the eagerness. So Rupa Goswami being Paramrasik is uh, taking the praman of Jaydev Goswami and saying, see, in the Leela Vilas, in their play together, there is more happiness than in their direct meeting. <coughs> Perhaps you know that our Swarup Damanagar Swami, incarnation of Lalita Saki, he has written about the ontology of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In his Kadacha, yes. He said, uh, Sri, um, Sri Radha, um, Radha Krishna Pranaya Vikriti Ladini Shakti Asmad Eka Manavu Api 
भूवि पुरा देह बेदम गतो तो चैतन्य क्यम प्रकटम मधुना तद्वयम चैक्यम अप्तम रद्भाव जुति सुवलितम नोमी कृष्ण सुरुपम दैट Radhika is the Ladini Shakti, embodiment of Krishna's Ladini Shakti, pleasure potency. They are one. One soul with two bodies. Radha Krishna Aichi Sada Eka Iswarup Lila Rasa Aswadite Dare Duhi Rup They are one soul with two bodies to relish Rasa. So Ekat Manavapi Bhuvipura. But in ancient times, that one person, Krishna, manifest as Radha and Krishna. Chaitanya Kyam Prakatam Aduna. But Aduna, now, those two have again become one. And they are called Chaitanya Kyam. They are called Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Radha Baba Juti Svalitam Nomi Krishna Swarupam. I bow down to that Swarup of Krishna who is adorned with the sentiment and complexion of Shimati Radhika. So, Srila Sorp Damodaga Swami has written this, but upon hearing it, some questions may arise. That uh, first there was Krishna. But no Radhika. Where was Radhika? And no Mahaprabhu. But then Radhika manifested. And there was still no Mahaprabhu. But then Radha Krishna became one and Mahaprabhu became there, but where is Radha and Krishna? So in order to answer the questions which arrive from this Kadachara of Dhamma Swami, Srila Vishnu Chavi Thakur, we have just been at his Samadhi, he wrote one Astakam. And it is very, very deep. It is called Sri Swapna Vilasa Amrita. The pastimes of dream, the nectarian dream. And it took place here in Nidhuvan. At the end of the night, when Radha Krishna was sleeping in each other's embrace, Brinda Devi, she told the birds to begin to sing, and very gently hearing the sound of the singing of the birds, Radha Krishna opened their eyes. So then Radharani, she said to Krishna, Oh Sham Sundar, last night I had an astonishing dream. I saw a river. It was just like Jamuna, but it was not the Jamuna. And on the banks of that river there was very beautiful forest. It was just like Brindavan. But it was not Brindavan. And there I saw some persons. They are very expert at playing Kartal and Murdanga and singing in all types of rag and tal, just like my Sakis. And in the midst of them, I saw one very beautiful Brahman, and he was dancing and crying, Ha Krishna, Ha Krishna. And sometimes he would sigh very heavily and say, Hey Radhe, where are you? I was very attracted to this person. Ah. Radharani became shy. I was wondering who is he? When he was calling, hmm? uh, hey Radhe, where are you? Then I thought, oh Krishna, is that you? And when he was crying, Krishna, Krishna, 
Then I looked, I thought, is that me? I am sick. А когда он пел Кришна, Кришна, я подумала, может быть это я? And I was completely confused. Я была запутана. See, Krishna began to smile. Тогда Кришна стал улыбаться. He said, why are you confused? Он сказал, ну почему ты запуталась? Many times I showed you my different swarups. Я тебе очень много раз уже показывала мои разные слова. Like in Shaishai. You know, if you go very far to the north, up to Kailanvan, and further, there you come to Shashai Narayan. It was a place where Radhika said to Krishna, I have heard that Gagacharya has said, Tasman Mandat Najojante Narayana Sumoguna, you have qualities like Narayan. Uh, can I see your forearm form with Ananta Shesh? So then Krishna, oh, Ananta Shesh appeared. Param appeared as Ananta Shesh and see Krishna relaxed on him and he was floating on the lake there at Sheshai that is called the Kir Sagar. Perhaps you have been to that place on Parakrava. And Lakshmi, then the Radhika, she could not check herself, and she came and very humbly sat down and began to massage Krishna's feet. Radhika не могла сдержаться, но тут же подошла туда и стала кротко массировать стопы Господа Райны, как Лакшми Деви. So Krishna said, "You have seen my forms before, and you are not astonished. So why are you astonished now?" И Кришна сказал, "Но ты же уже видела мои различные формы раньше, и ты не был, ты не был, не была так удивлена. Почему же ты удивлена сейчас?" Do you remember that day we were having a conversation? And you said to me, "Oh Krishna, a woman can understand the feelings in the heart of a man, but a man can never understand the heart of a woman." You said to me, "Oh Krishna, a woman can understand the feelings in the heart of a man, but a man can never understand the heart of a woman." At that time, I said to you. You know, Radhika, what you're saying is absolutely true about everyone except for me. <laughs> Radharani said, "Oh, you are a liar." Radhika said, "You are a liar." You don't understand my heart. You don't understand my heart. Radhika said, "Yes, in this form I don't understand, but I have another form I understand, in which I understand." Radhika said, "No, you know, in this form I don't understand, but I have another form, and in this form I understand." One day I'll show you. One day I'll show you. One day I'll show you. So then Krishna was laughing, and the kasturba money, the jewel, Krishna has kasturba money on his chest, red jewel, and he began to glow. And Radhi, rather, and he looked inside Krishna's kasturba money, and exactly as she seen in the dream, she saw that river, that is Ganga, and saw that forest, that is Navadweep, and saw Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu having kirtan among his associates, exactly as she seen in the dream, and seeing that, she said, "Oh, Shama Sonda, you are so clever." И тогда Радика стала осматриваться в этот волшебный камень, и она там увидела реку, которая была словно ему, но это была Ганга. И там был лес, как Фридава, но это была Навадвипа. И там Радика увидела Шриханя Махапрабху, который танцевал в Киртане со всеми своими спутниками. И она сказала, о, Шьяма Сундар, ты такой умный. So Radika said, now I understand. That you and I will appear together in one form. And inundate the entire world in prayer. So, Sri Lavishwa Chakravarti has composed this asakam. It is called Swapna Vila Samrita, the nectar of. A sleeping pastime of Radha and Krishna. Dream pastime. But another meaning of the title of this poem is that anyone who will hear this poem will wake up from the dream that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is not Radha Krishna themselves. Но есть еще другое значение у этого названия. Оно означает, что любой, кто услышит 
эту лилу, эту аштаку, но он, он проснется от сна, в котором он считает, что Шричадани Махапрабху — это не Радха и Кри. In the other sampradayas they don't accept. But many of the devotees, they come in our sampraday, they say by their mouth, but not by their heart. Actually. And when we hear this kata from our Guru Prampara, it is so powerful, we wake up from the dream that Mahaprabhu is a different from Radha Krishna and realize Mahaprabhu Sri Chaitanya Radha Krishna Nahyanya Rasaraj Mahabhav Surup. Но когда мы слышим эту катху, она настолько могущественная, что она э, разрушает эти иллюзии в нашем сердце, и тогда мы понимаем, что Шри Читани Махапрабху — это и есть Радха и Кришна. Yeah. So just behind us, that is the Samadhi of Swami Haridas. So he was a very great personality and he was such a beautiful singer of Kirtan that even he manifested ragas that no one had heard before. <laughs> Emperor Akbar wanted to hear his singing, so he sent a messenger, please tell Swami Haridas to come and sing for me. Император Акбар хотел послушать их, и поэтому он прислал сообщение, пожалуйста, передайте с вами Харидасу, пусть он приедет, я его послушаю. He said, who is this emperor? He is like an insect, like an ant. А тот ответил, да кто этот император, он как насекомое. Who is he that I will sing for him? I only sing for Krishna. Кто он такой, чтобы я для него пел? Я только пою для Радхи и Кришны. So the emperor, he was very pious and very eager to hear his kirtan. So one disciple of Swami Haridas named Tansen, he was a great singer. He told the emperor, "Just you come with me to Vrindavan." And then one of the disciples of Swami Haridas, whom they called Tansen, said to the emperor, "You just come with me to Vrindavan." So he came in disguise. And Tansen came here and he began to sing in a beautiful rag, but he sang some varjit swara, some forbidden notes. И вот и, и тогда этот э, ученик Свами Харидаса Тансен начал петь, но он э, пел несколько, таких, несколько запрещенных нот. So then very mercifully Swami Haridas came to his disciples and said, no, not like, like, like this. And then he began to sing. And then Akbar, his desire to hear the kirtan of Swami Haridas was fulfilled here. И тогда Свами Харидас не выдержал, он вышел и поправил ученика, сказал, смотри, вот так, вот так. И он начал петь. So if you want to get the mercy of Guru Dev, try to get the mercy of his dear Vaishnavas first, and then mercy of Guru will come. So there are many other pastimes, but now the Nisha Lila is beginning. Nighttime pastimes are starting. So they're going to close the door and we'll be locked inside. <laughs> <laughs> That's